Hello everyone. In this lecture 4, we are going to discuss about the linear differential equation of nth order with constant coefficient. Now, what is linear differential equation? A differential equation of the dependent variable is having a degree 1 or its derivative with degree 1 is called linear differential equation like this. Over here, a y is a dependent variable depending upon x. This is the dependent variable and x is an independent variable. So, a differential equation where the deg degree of dependent variable and its derivative is 1 is called linear differential equation. Similarly, a differential equation is said to be nonlinear differential equation if the degree of dependent variable or its derivative is greater than 1. Or we can say that a series of dependent variable term is exist like this is linear uh, this is nonlinear differential equation because of this y square where y is the dependent variable in a second example this y square as well as the derivative is having a power 2 more than 1 so it is nonlinear similarly over here because of y square but in this fourth case we are having the derivative power 2 if we remove this term still the example 4 is nonlinear because of this e to the power y because we are going to open the series of e to the power y 1 plus y plus y square by 2 factorial 2 and so on so the degree of dependent variable is more than 1 so the fourth example is also nonlinear differential equation the notation of differential operator is capital D where capital D y is equal to the first derivative of y with respect to x dy by dx. For second derivative we will use d square y which is equal to second derivative and similarly for the third derivative we will increase the power of d that is d cube y is equal to d cube y by dx square. Similarly, if 1 by d is multiplied with function of x, only the function of x, then integration of fx with respect to x is equal to this. Similarly, for the d square, when we are using 1 by d square into function of fx, twice integration, 1 by d cube is actually a triple integration of fx with respect to x. Linear differential equation of second order with constant coefficient is represented as d square y by dx square plus p dy by dx plus qy is equal to function of x right side is a function of x or by using the differential operator we can say that d square y plus p dy plus qy is equal to function of x r capital r that is and similarly it can be represented as d square plus pd plus q and y is outside the bracket is equal to function of x capital R is linear differential equation of second order where p and q are the constant r is a function of x the complete solution of this equation 1 the complete solution of this equation 1 is y is equal to cf plus pi you have to remember Whenever you are solving the differential equation, you are always finding the value of dependent variable and the value of dependent variable is always in the form of independent variable and the arbitrary constant. For the left side of this portion, that is for the CF, we will have always the arbitrary constant with the solution. For the right side of the portion, we will find out the particular integral PI. For the equation 1, this is also the equation 1 which was mentioned on the previous slide. Cf, complementary function, it is obtained by the left hand side of the differential equation 1. That means we are finding the Cf for this portion. And for the particular integral Pi, we will find the solution for the right hand side of the differential equation. That is for this R. R is a function of x. We will find out the particular integral. Now, method of finding cf method of for finding cf let assume y is equal to c1 e to the power mx where c1 is arbitrary constant 
I think you have all all of you remember when you integrate x with respect to dx you will get the solution x square by 2 plus c this c is arbitrary constant so over here c1 is arbitrary constant now substituting the value of y is equal to c1 e to the power mx in equation 1 that means first we have to differentiate y with respect to x that means y dash is equal to m c1 e to the power mx double derivative will be m square c1 e to the power mx now we substitute these values in equation 1 and taking common c1 e to the power mx we receive m square plus pm q is equal to 0 over here we have two terms like a into b we have a into b is equal to 0. If we put a is equal to 0, that means our assumed solution is 0. So, we can we cannot take a as is equal to 0. So, we are taking b is equal to 0. Then we receive m square is equal to pm plus q is equal to 0. Is called auxiliary equation for equation 1. Now, this is the quadratic equation so it is always having a root we have to just find out the root of this equation and cf is completely depending upon the type of the root if the root of this equation is real and distinct m1 m2 m3 and so on this is the second order so we are having only the two root m1 and m2 then the cf will be c1 e to the power m1x plus c2 e to the power m2x if someone from your class or your group is writing c1 e to the power m2x plus c2 e to the power m1x it is also right it is not affected by the arbitrary constant c1 or c2 now if the root is real and equal that means m1 is equal to m2 then the cf will be c1 plus x c2 this is for the repetition part and e to the power mx is the cf now if the root is imaginary then cf will be e to the power alpha x if the root is in the form of alpha plus minus eta beta then the cf is e to the power alpha x into a cos beta x plus b sin beta x these are the rule of finding the cf for the differential equation now by the problem solving the differential equation d square minus 6d plus 9y is equal to 0 now considering the third example d cube plus d square plus d plus 1y is equal to 0 remember if you by mistake forget to write y then it doesn't mean any because differential equation is always having, having the dependent variable so you have to remember always write y so the differential equation in the differential operator form is d cube plus d square plus d plus 1 y is equal to 0 but in an auxiliary equation we replace d by m so and y is eliminated so the auxiliary equation is m cube plus m square plus m plus 1 is equal to 0 now solving this cubical equation first root is m plus 1 second is m square plus 1 we get the root minus 1 and plus minus eta this is the real root m1 is the real root m2 is the complex root for the cf real root rule we are to use c1 e to the power m1x and for the complex root we are using e to the power alpha x c2 cos beta x plus c3 sin beta x now substituting the values c1 e to the power minus x c2 cos x plus c3 sin x right side portion is 0 so pi will be 0 so finally we are having the solution this now in this fourth example we are using exactly the same question of example 3 but the difference is the power is 2 might be possible in an exam if you are getting the power more than 2 3 or 4 so by to solve this equation we just 
find the auxiliary equation because the both terms are same we just solve one equation and get the root as the previous example that is uh, minus 1 and plus minus eta but the whole power is 2 so we have to repeat the roots real root twice that is minus 1 minus 1 and complex root plus minus eta and again plus minus eta because the real root is repeated twice so c1 x c2 for the repetition and e to the power m1 x again because complex root is also repeated so c3 x c4 and for the cf of complex value e to the power alpha x plus c5 cos beta x plus c6 sin beta x and because in this question right side portion is zero so pi will be zero substituting the value of m1 and m2 we get cf is equal to c1 x c2 e to the power m1 x that will be minus 1 c3 x c4 e to the power alpha alpha is 0 in this complex root alpha is 0 and beta is 1 so finally the cf for this problem will be c1 plus x c2 e to the power minus x plus c3 plus x c4 e to the power 0x that will be 1 into c5 cos x plus c6 sin x this will be the solution for the given differential equation and for the pi case we are going to give you a next lecture thanks for the today lecture